And if you ever wondered if banks are shifting their views on Bitcoin, well, let me tell you a story that will bring it all together in an engaging way. Uh, once upon a time in the world of finance, Bitcoin was seen as a risky and unpredictable investment. Um, but that all changed when banks started dipping their toes into in the world of cryptocurrencies. Um, but in a recent Form F-13 filing, JP Morgan revealed an investment of $731,246 in spot Bitcoin ETF on behalf of its clients. They allocated the majority 477425 to IB and BlackRock alongside investing in Bitwise's BITB, Fidelity's FBTC, and Grayscale's GBTC. Uh, joining the fray was U.S. banking giant Wells Fargo, holding 2,245 shares of GBTC, valued at $121,207. And the trend didn't stop there. In early April, Europe cents at the 8A cents as BNP Paribas purchased 1,030 IBIT shares for $41,684. Uh, these developments signify a notable shift in the stance of several banks, indicating a uh, growing interest and openness toward BTC as uh, uh, an investment vehicle. Uh, and it's not just Europe. Uh, and uh, the U.S. Uh, banks worldwide uh, are starting to see uh, the potential in Bitcoin. In fact, just a few months ago, Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, made a bold stance against Bitcoin during a conversation on Squat Box. But he did note that Bitcoin has some use cases and everything else is people trading among themselves. Uh, these developments are not only changing the views of banks, uh, but also the regulatory landscape. Uh, the U.S. House passed a bill uh, to ease SEC guidelines. Uh, signaling the, the growing acceptance of, of cryptocurrencies uh, despite uh, banks' uh, historical resistance to digital assets. Uh, and so what does this mean for the future of Bitcoin? Well, it looks like the tide is turning and Bitcoin is becoming more mainstream in the world of finance. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching. And uh, till next time, remember to keep an eye on the world of cryptocurrencies